Hi, today we're going to work on the relationship of the hip to the SI, the uh, lower back, and also the foot and the metatarsal. In this mini lesson, hopefully we'll get everything moving a little bit, lubricate that hip, lubricate the metatarsals, so that the walk is more graceful. So let's just first start with a quick warm up. Downward, well first let's start in tabletop and just wiggle, wag the tail, wag the tail, keeping the shoulders stable. So isolating the hip movement. So hip moving separately from shoulder. And then move the knees back, put the hands forward and drop your heart. So that's a quick warm up for today. And then have your two blocks. I asked you to have a chair, but let's just start with the blocks, curling the toes under and rolling back, okay? As we get older, our feet get stiff and work like blocks of ice. We get bunions, we get, you know, chiblins and corns and different things, but we wanna keep those feet as flexible as possible. So rolling back and forth. Okay, so now we're rolling forward and you can put the blocks under your chair, extend your right leg, okay? And we're gonna push the heel back and come forward a little bit. Push the heel back and then point, push. So. The knee is straight, and we're just rolling on the metatarsal, flexing the foot, more or less pointing the foot, lifting the inner groin of the right leg towards the ceiling. Okay. Does this movement look familiar? This is like maybe walking up a step. So we're guarding the balance of our body, and then repeat left. So you'll see my foot is flexing and pointing, flexing and pointing. Next is a little tricky. So put the blocks in front of you and extend that right leg. So two options. You can come up on your metatarsal. You can hold the blocks for balance or you can put your hand on the chair for balance. Or if it's too much for your foot, come down on the heel, okay? After this lesson, I'm going to go on the chair and show people who are chair bound how they could do this. So let's assume we're on our metatarsal, okay? So the action is right here. We're gonna roll the buttock skin down and then roll it up, okay? So the big toe goes down, the big toe goes as far back behind your shoulder as possible. Big toe down, up. So what's happening is we're coordinating the foot movement with the hip movement, and you'll feel all the bones and little fascia and muscle tissue in your SI, in your right back hip, moving, okay? Moving. Unglomming. And let's go with the other foot, okay? Alternately, you can come down, you can hold yourself up and move that foot, flip that foot, or you can be up on your metatarsal. And here's the action, lifting the hip, dropping the hip, lifting the hip, dropping the hip. Notice the foot comes a little big toe down, big toe up. Big toe down, big toe up, big toe down, big toe up. So you feel all the small bones moving in the lower back. Okay, I'll show you what that looks like from the back, okay? So buttock down, 
sympathetic up. It's a nice stretch for the kidney area as well. Okay, next we're going to put, we're going to use the chair. You can use the blocks, but I asked everybody to have a chair for a reason. So bend your left knee, put the knee on the chair, the foot underneath the chair. So we got nice right angles everywhere. You could hold the chair and move that right leg back, okay? Alternately, you can hold blocks. And alternately, you can turn the chair around and, no, you can't really do that. So you have to do this, okay? So we're gonna stretch and point. Same thing we did before with the foot. Then we're gonna turn the foot and place the heel down. You see what I did? Turn the foot and what happens here? Okay, and stand up. Okay. Now turn that hip down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Leave it up. Roll your hands down the back and lift. Okay. You want your knee to hit the side of the chair. Point the kneecap towards the little toe. Put your hand on the chair and straighten that front leg. What happens here? Can we move this hip down and up? Down and up. Down and up. Leaving it up. Press down into the right heel. Let's do a little Hollywood pose. Push your head back. So the hand, this hand, left hand is over the left foot. And now extend. Pressing into the back foot and the back heel. Now let's just move that hip forward and back again. Forward and back. Come forward, turn your toes, and put your hands on the seat of the chair. Alternately, put the hands on the block. Okay? And we're going to pull the left hip back. Left hip forward, left hip back. Left hip forward, left hip back. Left hip left hip forward, left hip back. That was a lot like wagging the tail, okay? So I'm gonna just show you what that looks like by switching the leg. So you see I'm moving that leg, the hip back, the hip back, the hip back. So now let's do the same sequence. So we started with our left foot forward. Now we're going to start with our right foot forward. So knee hitting the chair seat, foot right under the knee. Hands on the chair. You can have your blocks here ready for if and when you need them. And extend that left leg. Okay? So the heel is flexed and then point. Flex and point. Flex and point. Almost point. Flex up on your metatarsal. High, high heels. Flex and point, flex and point. So, you know those really high heels you can wear, that's what this position is, flex and point. Now we're going to turn the foot, okay? And come on up. And remember here, we're gonna move this hip forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. And then lift your left hand, slide it down, lift your right hand, nice stretch. Put your left hand on the chair above where your right foot is and straighten the right leg, okay? So what are we gonna do? We're gonna move this hip forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. Forward 
and back, leaving it back, lengthening the spine, doing the Hollywood pose, pressing the head into the hand, lengthening the spine, and then extending up. Put some weight into the left foot, left heel. Lifting up this hip. Turn down the hip. Turn towards your chair, turn your feet, okay? You can hold the blocks or hold the seat. You can even go down if you like, but I want a flat back, not a cashew back, okay? And now we're gonna pull that right hip back. Pull the right hip back. I'm gonna change just so you can see. So I'm pulling the right hip back. Pull the right hip back. So this lengthens the hamstring and lengthens the lower back where we often have aches and pains. And often we have aches and pains because we're jammed up and tight in here. So these movements of the hip that you can practice, loosen them up. Not aggressively, don't practice aggressively. So this was the mini lesson for today. Um, next I'm going to show how people could do these exercises if they're chair bound. So I'm just going to So the warm up, you want to have your chair near a tabletop or a uh, shelf and stretch. Okay, so that's the warm up. Alternately, if you can't move your chair to do that, you can reach out and lengthen your spine the best you can, okay? You can hold the side of your chair or the back of your chair and lengthen the head away from this, the tailbone, the tailbone back. Another wonderful uh, stretch. For the chair bound. Next, exercising the metatarsals. Okay, so you're in your chair, you're gonna come up on your metatarsal, roll back to your heel. Metatarsal to 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 heel. Now, can you put some weight on that right metatarsal? No shoes. Okay. And some weight on the left metatarsal. Imagine wearing those very stylish, but perhaps uncomfortable, very high, high heels. Okay. So next we are going to, how can we move the hip if we're chair bound? Okay, so you can turn kind of sideways, right hip forward and lift the right hip, drop the right hip. Lift the right hip, very gentle, not aggressive. If it's a tiny movement, just a tiny movement. And if you put your leg out, you can get a little more roll. Okay, a little more roll. So we want to roll so that you feel some glow movement unlocking here. Very gentle, okay? And let's do the other leg. You can start just by sitting sideways, lifting, that, lifting and dropping the left hip. Okay, nice if you can stretch the leg out and roll and lift, roll and drop. 
Roll forward and drop. Roll and drop. Roll and drop. And one more time, roll and drop. Next thing you can do, okay, make a right angle here and stretch out this leg or here. Or if you're not stable, you can leave it here. Okay, and let's stretch out, lift up, and stretch back a bit. Okay, so lift and stretch back a little bit, pushing on the extended right leg if you can. Okay, so notice the hip is lifting off the chair, if you can do that. Okay, and let's go to the other side. So you want your buttock towards the back, extend the left leg, right angle here, okay? And let's lift and drop the buttock, okay? Lift and drop, lift and drop, lift and drop. Lifting the buttock, dropping the buttock. Lifting the buttock, dropping the buttock. Lifting the buttock, dropping the buttock. And let's go back to the other side and extend. And you can grab the back of your chair with, I'm sorry, with the left hand and lift up. Actually, the back of the chair. You can hold the back of the chair and just extend like an angel wing here. Okay. Dropping the sit bones. You can turn this right hip forward and extend. Okay, and let's turn the other way. So I have my right foot under my right knee. I have a right angle as much as I can there, and I'm extending the left leg, taking my right hand, grabbing the back of the chair, and like a sweep of an angel wing, lifting up, and then the buttock can come down, okay? Expand across the chest, the front of the chest. And then come to the front. And then just expand. Dropping the sit bones, squeezing the upper back pressing down the heels. You can do a little Hollywood here too. Press the back of the head into the hand. And then open up and grab your chair, slide back, a big smile. So that's the video, the mini yoga, aging gracefully, feeling good, lesson for Tuesday. So see you next video. I will be here on Thursday and probably Friday as well. So be well.